Hello sleepers, this audio contains subject that may uh, bother some users and there will also be swearing. I do not recommend the video if you are faint of heart. Please enjoy. Hmm, look at you. Searching to buy some human cattle to feed on? I can believe you are looking for someone like us. We get bought by older or PC vampire and you seem like neither of those. You look like a very boring and average person. Why are you here? Ah, you can't hypnotize and feed by yourself. How oh, pathetic. The future generation of vampires sucks. Pun intended. No be me new, but how bad can you be? How much handholding do you even need? What? Someone else is buying a human for you? You don't even have enough to spare for a cattle like me? You are truly pitiful. I'm worth less than nothing. How much do you have? Oh well, you can afford me. Not so sure about the rest. Well, I am quite the asshole, if you haven't realized yet. I usually get refunded, so I'm pretty cheap. No, I can't flee or hurt my master. I wish I could, but the black pad prevents this. It's just annoying to be billed all the time by someone like me, and I have absolutely nothing special or worthwhile. I was sold by my parents to a slaver. I did everything filthy and unsavory you could think of. When my new master got tired of me, and I got a bit too old for his taste, he sold me here. Since then, this guy who sells human to vampire has been trying to get rid of me. Wait, why do you want me? I'm horrible. I have nothing to give you. I'm missing an eye and a few fingers. I'm burned and scarred. I can't give you the pleasure of torturing me or my virginity. My body and mind are already ruined by past abuse. I am worth literally nothing. Well, the other human for sale got an interested in you since you're too poor to even afford them. The other that you could buy just don't want to be taken in by someone who needed to have someone else buy them. Who knows if you can even afford to make us live afterward. Half of them are here on their own free will. And well, the other half, well, they still want decent masters. Shit, really? Why, no. I've been bought by a lowly vampire, not even a noble or one who's wealthy. What the fuck is this joke? <sighs> Let's get this pack done as soon as possible. Yeah, 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 my name is Raphael. I pledge my life to yours until you get annoyed or bored of me. Drink from me now. <laughs> the fuck you don't allow? Just stick your teeth in my neck and suck. Vampires sell about numbness skin and help stop the bleeding, so it's fine, just do whatever. <sighs> No, it's fine. Don't stop. Uh, and with this, I am yours until you release me. You do know nothing. Ah, uh, could be that hassle on me. I'll be waiting for you outside. Holy shit, I simply cannot flee from you. Just do what I tell you. <sighs> All right, let's go home. You are really horrible at being a vampire. But I almost find this entertaining. Tell me, how did someone like you turn off like this? Wow, that's some bad luck this vampire turned you as bad or irresponsible like you. 
can transform anyone into a vampire urine. Even if you could, it's forbidden. Shut up, I'm talking. The reason is become a shitty vampire who can barely do anything like you will surface and put in jeopardy the other, more reputable vampire. You are bottom the barrel stuff. Barely made it to a vampire with how low your skill are, but just enough to mess up with everything else. By the way, you got some clothes? I'm literally wearing a bed sheet to hide myself. Alright, as long as you ride in your car, I guess I can wait for some clothes. Don't tell me you plan on taking the bus with me. A bike? Hmm, I will. I won't need to try and hide my private parts then. No, I, I really don't care if someone else sees me naked. That will not be near. The problem will be to be arrested for an indecency on the very first day I was bought. Alright, I'm seated. You're really something, you know that? I treat Louis like shit and you don't talk back. You're poor and you have no skills. What? No, as if I enjoy your company. Me explaining a few things mean nothing. Well, you do know nothing. <sighs> I suppose we're both walking garbage, so... I don't hate you as much as uh, my other master before. If you treat me like a human being, I'll do my best to not be an asshole. Don't think you're my friend, though. I'm just tired of all that shit, and I know that reseller is going to kill me if you bring me back. There's a limit to his patience. Oh, we're here? Hmm, it's not as bad as expected. Ah, there's a catch. Of course there is. You live in the shed? A fucking shed? Fuck me. That house. Who lives in it? Huh, the landlady. Her son used to live in the shed they renovated to give him some privacy and freedom. Hmm, well, let's see. Maybe it's not too bad. Huh, it's actually decent. Bigger than I thought with uh, isolation, electricity, windows. Huh, not bad. With how much stuff costs, you have a good place with no roommate and no noisy neighbor. Well, I know your roommate, but whatever. So, tell me, what do you know about yourself? You know, vampire and stuff. Ah, nothing, triggered. Well, I need to feed around once a month. I'm good enough for that. Me? I need to eat food daily, like a normal human. Since you didn't give me your blood, I'm not a troll. No, no. Don't, you won't be able to freely drink from me if you do it. Only wealthy, powerful, or one established vampire get the trolls. And you are not any of that. Uh, don't drink from random people. They could also become a vampire like you did. Do you have any other question? No, you can get a kid. Sorry about that. And don't even think on transforming a child into a vampire. That's cruel as fuck. Well, you can still have sex, no problem, and, well, since I'm your slave or something, you can use me as you see fit. Ah, good, good, good. You remember to treat me like a normal human. Point for you. More question? Yeah, yeah, garlic is fine, crosses too. Uh, the sun will not kill you, but it will give you a massive egg egg. Anyone getting beheaded, well... Of course, kill them. And same for a stake in their heart. That vampire just gave you a hundred bucks and told you where to buy me? What an asshole. Hey, any club by the way? Thanks. Man, it's fine if you don't have any underwear for me. I'll just wear those pants, that is. Now, tell me about you. I don't want to lose a vampire. I'm asking about the individual in front of me. Mm hmm. Hmm. 
well, it seems you're just very unlucky. Well, I guess I'll help you out any way I can since we're both losers. I wish I could work to get my own food, but would you even consider hiring someone who is missing four fingers and I can barely count or read and is burned on half his body? <laughs> they sold me when I was barely seven years old and no one really gave a shit about their toy to teach him anything. And they also made sure my life was fucked forever. We may be in the year 2000, but this sort of shit still happened in the underground. Oh no, I will never give them the satisfaction of ending my life. So yeah, you can get me a job. Why not? But I doubt anyone will want me anywhere. Well, except you, I suppose. Thanks again for taking me. You may be a vampire, but you're more human than all of those assholes. Wait, you're planning on going to bed? No, 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 no. The sun will mess you up, so I'll talk to you all night to make sure you only fall asleep early in the morning. I don't care. I'm doing this for your well-being. You will have to take night classes now, so forget about waking up early. Anyway, you have an eternity in front of you to complete everything you wish. Thank you for listening up to the end. I hope you enjoyed this audio and that you had fun with it. I am giving you some extra time to pause the video or close the page in case YouTube decides to put an ad without my knowledge. Have a good evening.